Okay, so I am recording this video as a reminder of what I want to make a video of tomorrow. Tomorrow I want to speak about fear, but in the sense that our fear, of course, stems from our ego, but our fear, our ego, let's take it that way, our ego is trying to protect us, and by doing that, it uses fear. I'll give an example. Um, which is about how I went camping by myself yesterday, Saturday. And I had all those random thoughts come into my head about the car, about what if I get lost, about um, if anything bad happened to the car, and or what if there wasn't any space available for me at the campsite. Like all these random thoughts. And it, at first it almost bugged me because I don't get thoughts like that anymore. And, uh, you know, when I was younger in college, I used to get these thoughts all the time. I had a lot of anxiety and I was even depressed at one point. <clears throat> and I can go into that in another video. But of course I recognized this um, thought pattern right away as I was driving towards the campsite. So I talked myself through it and I thought, I was like, this, all these thoughts are very irrational. I was so excited and I feel that urge within me to go camping. Like I, I really feel it and I just want to be there in nature, by myself, with nature, um, in stillness with my, my paint and my canvases, the book, all the creative ways, all the creative outlets that I like to do. Other than blogging, I wanted to disconnect from technology. So if I was feeling that urge so badly, then why all of a sudden are all these fear-based thoughts coming in? And then I really thought about it. And I was like, the only possible thing that it could be is, like, I'm trying to talk myself out of it. Not me. It's like my ego is trying to talk myself out of doing this because it's trying to protect me. By I'm doing something completely different that I've never done before ever in my life. I haven't even camped out since I was young. And on top of that, I'm camping alone. I packed up my truck with minimal, the minimal things required, hopped in and just started driving and have never been to this place ever before. I just wanted to go on an adventure for a day and tune in for 888. So it's like, oh my God, it's my ego. It's the ego, bold, there, trying to make me afraid. Because through fear, humans react to fear. So once I knew this, I laughed. I just laughed and laughed. And instead of continuing with the thought processes of what if, what ifs, I just turned on some really good music and chose how I wanted to feel, which I was already excited. So I tuned back into my excitement and just started singing and I just started feeling so free on the open road driving and focusing on how amazing this was that I was going on an adventure and I had no idea what was about to happen but it was going to be magical no matter what because I decided it was going to be and I was so excited to be by myself doing something by myself and going somewhere by myself to, to make myself happy and to connect, connect with nature. And um, that feeling gave me the, the biggest sense of freedom, the biggest sense of freedom. And once I tuned into that, all the other thoughts went away. So that's how I re like, I've known, you know, like through the years I figured out, <clears throat> you know, about our ego about thinking from fear and doing things from fear or doing them from love but this experience gave me a completely different way a perspective of looking at how ego and fear works at first you know it, it surprised me because i don't have all these fear-based thoughts anymore like i don't operate my life out of fear anymore so when that happened at first it frustrated me but then i laughed because i saw how the ego uses fear to protect you, but also to keep you from trying anything new.
so my message today is, what can you try doing? Something completely new that you have never tried before. Your ego might start kicking in and you might have these thoughts that you think you're being cautious, but really it is your ego trying to protect you. But there's nothing, there's nothing, absolutely nothing to fear. You decide. You can decide how you want to feel. You get to decide. Of course there are some things, you know, that we should take, be a little cautious about, of course. So I'm not talking about those scenarios, okay? I'm not talking about something absolutely crazy like jumping off a, a humongous cliff, you know, or the Empire State Building or, you know, something crazy, absolutely crazy. I'm just talking about, you know, other things, not extreme, 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 extreme. Unless you're into extreme sports, that's different and that's still, I don't think, that's a whole different topic, I'm not going to go there. Anyways, yes, so that's what I want to talk about in the video tomorrow. <clears throat> and that will lead me into talking about 